four bold Texas Rangers predictions for 2024. The people at Nolan Wrighton wrote that article. I guess it was last night. I read it this morning. The author, Michael Saunders. It's a good article. I've got a response next year on the Texas Rangers Clubhouse. Hey everybody, my name is Jeff Bates of the Texas Rangers Clubhouse where we talk about Major League Baseball. The Texas Rangers mostly sometimes we respond to stuff we see online. Nolan Wrighton is a blog that I've been following for a while. I don't know anybody over there. Um, but they write some good stuff, and this is a really good one. Michael Saunders is the author. Again, posted yesterday. I read it this morning. Let's just take the four bold predictions one at a time. I'm very excited about number four. I agree with another one of them very wholeheartedly. Let's just get to the article. Michael over at Nolan Wrighton says, number one bold prediction, Will Venable will be named manager in waiting. Will, can you, can you see that? Well, I love Will, ben, Will Venable. My first interaction with Will Venable was actually not with Will Venable. It was with two sweet old ladies. I used to go to spring training a lot. I grew up in San Diego. I've got a couple buddies who are big Padres fans. And we'd go out to Peoria every year. Boy, I miss that. We need to get to start doing that again. Regardless, we would stay where the Padres stay because they're big Padres fans. And we sat the same week in the same seats for, I think, five days out of maybe seven. And there was two sweet ladies who had the seats right, I guess, to the left. I don't really. They were right next to us. And they knew Will Venable. I don't know. They brought him candies. He, he came by. To, I don't know if they knew him personally or they just knew him from the field. He would walk by and talk to them every game. And after like day two or day three, we asked the ladies, hey, you know, you get to know him. Do you know the guy? Oh, they raved about what a nice man he was. Young boy at the time. This would have been what? When Will Venable was like a rookie, maybe even a, a minor league Padre. End up being the Padres MVP one year, by the way. He's had a good career. He is our assistant manager as the Rangers. And these two sweet old ladies just loved him to death, brought him candy. He came over and talked to them, and they raved about Will Venable. I have been a Will Venable, Will Venable fan since then because he was so nice to them. Don't know him. He wanted to be a basketball player. He was a Princeton College a basketball player. The coach out there, I think his name was Scott Bradley. I might have that wrong. Legend. In the baseball world, um, Princeton baseball coach, I hope I have that right, left the door open. You can get this right off of Wikipedia. Left the door open for Will to come to batting practice one day. Will's mom always wanted him to be a baseball player. Will always wanted to be a basketball player. Of course, Will's dad was a major league baseball player. All of that to say he didn't quit baseball. He had that good batting practice. He ends up making the team. He wanted to be a pro basketball player. He ends up being a baseball guy. And thank goodness for us, he did. He is the manager in waiting. Let's get back to the article, shout away. I think everyone assumes Venable is the next guy once Bochi steps down. A bench coach does not turn down multiple interviews like Venable did in October unless they've got a plan. I'm paraphrasing there at the end. Michael, I agree wholeheartedly. Why would you not take those? He was wanted to be interviewed. I actually think the Rangers have a few managers in waiting. I don't think Mike Maddox wants to be a manager. He's a great elite, even pitching coach. He's found his career. It's a pitching coach. Love, love, love that he's a ranger. Love him on Twitter. Him and his family on Twitter are hilarious, by the way, are great. They're just awesome. I'm a fan. But that's a whole nother video. I don't think he's going to be a manager necessarily, but Tony Beasley, maybe, maybe. Bobby Wilson, probably, and Will Venable, of course. Now, I don't think Bochi's going anywhere anytime soon. I really don't. I think two years is not enough. I think three years is not enough. Four or five years is probably likely. Well, there's the good news. Will is still a young man. Shoot, I'm older than him. Will he be the next manager of the Rangers? I think he will. And I think we're in good shape. He is a Princeton guy who was a basketball, basketball guy first. You know who else was a Princeton? Well, an Ivy League guy. And one, a Princeton guy. And wanted to be a basketball player first. Our GM and Will Venable's good buddy, Chris Young. So we, look at you're not going to get smarter than Chris Young and Will Venable. We are blessed to have them in our front office right now. We're blessed to have Venable on the field with Bochi. We're blessed to have Bochi. I would put our coaching staff, manager and coaching staff, even included the GM if you want, at the very top. I wouldn't put anybody above us. And Will Venable will just ascend to the throne of manager of the Rangers when Bochi is ready to go. And I think that is freaking awesome. The rest of the article is great. You should check it out. But the Will Venable part, 
well, we just talked about his number two point. Jack Leiter becomes 2024's Cody Bradford. You know, I just did a video the other day. I think it's the last video I posted here. Um, five potential breakout stars for the Rangers. Um, inspired by Kennedy Landry, another article uh, writer for the Rangers. I highly recommend check her out on X and on MLB.com. I think this is the year of lighter. I'm not saying he's going to be the rookie of the year. I'm not saying he's making the rotation. I'm saying he's going to get, I think I said two to six starts in the first half this year. He could get up to 10 to 20 starts this year. I really think this is the year that we see the Jack lighter. I mean, he was the number two pick in the draft for a reason. The, the, we are overblown on the conversation about Jack lighter is not ready. Jack lighter has not pitched. Well, everything I've read. And of course the things you're going to read is, it's not, I'm going to call it, I'm not going to call it propaganda, but it's going to be the positive spin. But everything I read is lighter has been looking really, really good. As I said in my last video about this, working on his mechanics more than his results this year. And everybody seems really, really happy. He's working out right now in the winter. Uh, I think it's out back in whatever, in Florida or wherever he's working out. I have high hopes for Jack Leiter. Will he become 2024's Cody Bradford? I don't know. I mean, Cody Bradford, I think has a big role next year. And I don't know where lighter fits. I don't think it's going to be exactly the same because I think Bradford was, I mean, come on. He was elite in the playoffs for us, right? That, I mean, a couple innings there saved us. I would look at Bradford as a spot starter, more of a reliever last year for the Rangers. I think both Bradford and lighter get some starts this year. Regardless, I like where we're going with this. Number three, bold prediction. I don't agree with this one, but I hope he's right and I'm wrong. Wyatt Langford wins the AL Rookie of the Year. He talks about Evan Carter, how Evan Carter's already going to be a starter. Wyatt Langford probably doesn't make the opening roster. I agree with all of that, okay? Does Evan Carter take a step back? I mean, he will because, wow, it was iconic. But he's still pretty good. In the article, I think he says that he thinks that Evan Carter... Um, hits between 250 and 275, hits 15 to 20 home runs. I don't see that happening. I think he hits between 275 and 285. Maybe I'm just more optimistic with that, but I think Evan Carter is for sure the Rangers rookie of the year this year. I think he gets four to 500 at bats. He starts in left field or in center field if we have a move with Tavares. I think that Wyatt Langford probably doesn't play for us until June or July. Now, if I'm wrong and he makes the opening day roster, if he starts in left field, if he starts as our DH, he might hit 30 bombs this year. I think Wyatt Langford is for real. I think he's going to be a superstar. He's going to be the best player out of that draft, in my opinion. And that is an elite draft. Five guys that might be superstars on the first five picks in that draft. We got lucky moving up to number four. Wyatt Langford should have been the first pick. I said it then. I'll keep saying it. So I love what he's saying here. I just don't think next year is going to happen. And boy, they got a kid in Baltimore that uh, might get in the way of that, too. But I love what he's got going on there. I love the positivity for White Langford. Bold prediction number four is the real reason I'm doing this video. Eight minutes into the video, I still I hope you're still here, right? Are you still here? I guess you are. You wouldn't hear this. Texas signs Roki Sasaki. I am in love with this idea. Do you know who Roki Sasaki is? You should. He is, I think, and this is going out on a limb to say this because I haven't seen either of them pitch enough to say this. I think he's going to be better than Yamamoto. This guy is the name. Texas is keeping their powder dry this offseason for the most part, he says. Let's move on. Uh, where did I want to go? The best pitcher might be someone who is not even in the majors. It is this is talking about the free agent class of next year. It is likely to be Roki Sasaki. He just came out and said, I want to get posted. He is a pitcher in Japan. There are already rumors, I should have just read it, that he wants to be posted after the season in 2024 he wants to come here sooner rather than wait until he can cash in on a bigger payday sasaki will be turning just 23 years old when he is posted i think texas will be willing to pay up to get sasaki again this is from the article i don't think the dodgers will be, get involved especially with otani joining the rotation in 2025 texas will be competing with the padres the yankees the mets the red sox and maybe the cuds in the end i think sasaki chooses to sign here in texas i'm not going to be so bold to say i know where he's going to sign I will say Texas will be all in on him. By then, the baseball TV package deal will be completed. We'll know where we are. I don't actually really think that's why we've been quiet this offseason. I honestly don't think we've been that quiet this offseason. Nobody's going to win every offseason every time. I still think there's moves to be made. Is Hater in our future? He might be. Not sure how I feel about that. I think we're going to get another starter, although we might have already got him. But we've already won. People have already been saying that we're winning the trading deadline with uh, Maley and um, Scherzer and DeGrom. And there's talk about Kershaw. 
All of this to say, I love the Sasaki news. I love it. I love that he's talking about it. The fact that he knows who Sasaki is means this is somebody you should be reading. I, I love this article. Um, Sasaki is 6'2", right-handed pitcher who throws straight gas. He finished the 2023 season with a 1.78 ERA and struck out 135 batters and walked 17 in 91 innings. This is well-researched. This is a good article. NolanWrighton.com. I have no relationship with them. Guys, we should talk. We should connect. I love everything I read by them. I like Michael Saunders, the author here. You should follow him over on Twitter. He's only got 118 followers. What the heck? This guy knows his stuff. I can tell from this article alone. Go check him out. I don't know, Michael. Hey, Michael, we should connect. Good, good stuff. Great article. Will Langford be the rookie of the year? If it's a Ranger, I think it'll be Carter, but I'd love to be wrong. Will we sign Sasaki? Boy, that would be amazing. Will Venable? Will, Will Venable? <laughs> Be the next Rangers manager? Yeah, I think so. And I'm very excited about that. This is a great article. I love it. You should check it out. NolanWrighton.com. That's NolanWrighton.com. Check them out. It's a great blog. I really like this one. That's my response to a really good Texas Rain Rangers blog. Let me know who are your favorite Texas Rangers writers, YouTubers, streamers, whatever it is, whoever it is. I want to know. You should check out Michael and the people over at Nolan Wrighton. I'm going to shut up now. Thanks for watching. Have the best day ever. Hey, Nolan Wright people. We should talk. We should talk. We should. I'll, I'll talk about you more if you, if you want. Good stuff, Michael. I'm a fan, and I don't even know you. Have the best day ever. Go Rangers. See you on the next one. Bye for now. I love it when you stay till the end of the videos like you just did. Thank you so much. We've got a contest. Comment. Tops now in the comment section. I will pick somebody at the end of the football game tonight, when the football games are over tonight, the semifinals in the NCAA, I will see who, if anybody, commented tops now, throw them in a hat, see who wins, send out a card. Rangers playoff card for free. Just comment tops now and you can win. Oh, and by the way, most importantly, never forget, go Rangers. Comment tops now, now, or you can't win.